Hey loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am back with another bag unboxing slash what's in my bag video. It's been a while since I've done a dedicated just what's in my bag video and I'm really excited for this one because it's super, super cute. So grab you a snack, get you a coffee, come hang out. I hope you all have had a great weekend so far and I did also want to make a quick announcement before we hop into the whole bag um if you entered my giveaway and you were receiving messages saying that you won to dm me on telegram that is not me i will only announce the winner in this pink wednesday's video so just be aware of scammers like i said the winner will only be announced personally by me over video this pink wednesday so i just wanted to get that out there you guys be safe scammers are out everywhere and i constantly keep blocking them but they keep coming back Okay, anyway, so before we hop into the bag, if you're new here, hi, I'm Lindsay. I love to film pretty much anything pink and girly, makeup, fashion, lifestyle, shopping vlogs, girly hauls, new bags, you name it. If it's pink, I'm probably doing it. So if you enjoy that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications. That way you never miss out on any of my future uploads. And other than that, let's go ahead and hop into what is in my new bag. So first up, I wanted to unbox it with you guys. I'm really excited for this one. It's a bag that I've wanted for such a long time. I know that I say that on almost every bag I get, but this is truly one that I've wanted to add to my collection for such a long time. It's so mini, it is so cute. Literally the daintiest purse ever. Oh my gosh, is this not so cute? So this is a tiny one, but like I said, I'm kind of on a little bit of a mini bag kick and I'm really excited for this. I love also too, you can carry it as a handbag or you can also just carry it over your shoulder. So before we hop into what all's in my bag, I just wanted to give you guys kind of like an up close look. That way you could get, you know, the details on it if you were contemplating on getting one of these. So let me show you what the inside looks like. So I took the wrapping paper out and everything. I haven't even peeked inside this bag. I did peek at it the other day and unbox it, but I haven't carried it yet. So inside it has like a dark maroon interior. And I'm really happy that it has, if I can ever do this with one hand, it's got two compartments in here. So I love that. And then it also has a little middle section too. Okay, so there we've got some little paperwork and stuff. Okay, so she may be mini, but I got a feeling she's probably going to fit a good bit. So I'm going to go ahead and pack it, and then I will show you guys what all fits in it. Okay, so I got my bag packed and honestly, I'm pretty shocked at how much fit in this. I was able to get it closed and everything. It is a little heavy, but yeah, you guys know I throw like pretty much half of my house in my bags. So it was a little bit of a challenge to see how much I could fit in here, but I think I got quite a bit fit in it. What do you guys think of this bag? I think this is just so, so cute. Like I said, I love how you can either carry it through your hand or you can carry it over the shoulder. I just think this is the cutest thing ever. And I will definitely be carrying this one in the fall. Okay, so let's hop into what all I got in the bag. Also, you guys, comment down below if you want to see more what's in my bag videos. I feel like I've been slacking on those, and every once in a while I'll see comments asking me, can I go back to doing what's in my bags? So I personally love doing what's in my bag videos, so if you guys want to see more, definitely let me know down in the comments. So first up, my wallet. I did order a little pink um, Chanel card holder and it's supposed to be here probably in another two weeks so for right now I'm just gonna have to carry this little Victoria's Secret one I never use this wallet enough and since it's so tiny I feel like this one would be perfect for this bag and I haven't put any of my cards in it or anything yet but it does fit quite a bit in here so I think this one would be perfect for this bag and then next up for some lip gloss, I put in my Too Faced Hangover 
I forgot how good this one was, especially during the summer when your lips are dried out. So I've been carrying this one a lot with me here lately. I also love it too because it kind of has like a little, it smells like mint, but it also has a sweet smell. And I don't know, it just looks good over your lips. It's like the perfect, just a perfect gloss. Really, really glossy. So had to put that in there. And then some lotion. This one was the tiniest one I could find. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This is like so tiny. So this was the only one I could really get to fit in here. And I've still got half a bottle left. So I'm carrying this one for lotion. Does anybody else obsess with the whole Sol de Janeiro line? I love all of their lotions, their body sprays, and the Bum Bum, Bum, Bum Cream was one of my all-time OG favorites from them, so I to have some lotion. Does anybody else like that? I cannot put like, I've got to have a lotion in my purse. I cannot go without it. My hands are dry. I just, I gotta have a go-to lotion in my bag. I don't know, is that just me or you guys like that? And then next up, so for a perfume, I also chose minis. Pretty much this is gonna be a whole mini bag and little mini accessories in here because everything is super tiny so for perfume i'm using this little this is just one of those rub-ons god i cannot think for the life of me what these are called right now what are these called it'll come to me in a minute but any a roller ball sorry a roller ball so i've got this little roller ball in here this one is number 22 angel stick this was sent to me last year from an Instagram company and I cannot for the life of me remember their name but if I can figure it out I will link it down in the description box this one it kind of has a smell like Victoria's Secret but yeah this is just super mini and it's easy to fit in there and it smells amazing and then and next up a little this is like a pressed powder and a compact all-in-one I always love to have a compact with me so I've got this Mac one is this packaging not so pretty also speaking of which i can't wait to see what they come out with for their christmas collection i think this was one of their christmas collections maybe two years ago but i just think it's a really cute compact and it's also got powder inside there and then next up so I don't have my keys on here yet, but I did want to see if my wristlet would fit in there. I don't know if it will once I get my keys on it, but I would be carrying a wristlet. This is just one of those Victoria's Secret ones. This is one that I've had for years now. I just wanted to see if I could get it to fit in there with everything. My AirPods, and I just keep these in this little Victoria's Secret AirPod case. You can also put this on a keychain. I never do, I just always throw it in my bag, but it does come in handy. That way they're not like just flying around everywhere in your bag. And then for lip products, I gotta have a lip liner and a lipstick. So I've got this MAC. This one is in Subculture. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys. Here is what, I need to sharpen it, but here's what that looks like. And then for the lipstick, I also have another MAC one. This one is in Stripped. This one is a really pretty nude, especially for like going into fall time. Like, do you guys see how good that goes together? This is a really pretty nude, especially if you are, I don't know, if you're a little bit lighter tone on the, if your skin's a little bit lighter tone, this would show up a little bit more darker on you. But if you are on the more tan side, it's probably going to be your perfect nude. I love this one. And then, let's see. So next I've got, and this may seem a little bit weird, but I keep this in my bag. I go get my eyebrows done probably twice a month. And when I get out of there, I like to be able to go back in and touch them up myself. So this one is just perfect because it's so small. It's this Benefit Full Proof Brow Powder. It's just really tiny and it has a mirror in there. And then you've got your brow powder right here. I don't know, I just think it's really handy to have in your bag. Like I said, I'm constantly getting my eyebrows done. So I like to be able to touch them up on my own. I like to carry that in my bags as well. 
Okay, we're about down to the end. I have, next up I've got a little hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. And I desperately need to go to Bath and Body Works. I just finally got some coupons in. I haven't been there in so long, honestly. But I need to go because I need to stock up on some fall hand sanitizers, some fall candles, body sprays, like the whole works. I desperately need to go, so note to self, I need to go to Bath and Body Works. I'm still carrying around this watermelon lemonade one from the summer and it's about out. And then last is something that I probably won't use, but I swear I can't go anywhere without one in my bag, and that is a hair clip. Also, how cute is this one? It's like, it's got rainbow hearts all over it, and yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I rarely use the hair clips while I'm out, but I would hate to be out and not have one, so I just always keep one in my bag, and I think this one is super cute. So, I think that is everything that is in my bag. I'm honestly surprised how much fit in there. My keys are probably gonna have to come out. I don't think once I get my actual like key fob on there that that's gonna fit, but everything else fit in there pretty good. I'm honestly surprised. So yeah, that is the what's in my bag. You guys let me know what you think about this bag down below. And I hope you guys all had a great weekend. Happy Labor Day weekend. Um, I hope you were able to get some time off of work, spend some time with your family, whatever it is that makes you happy. And I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. Don't forget, if you haven't entered that giveaway, that's all on my previous video. If you guys want to go check that out, and it's a huge girly haul. So if you want to enter, go do that. You have until Wednesday. Don't forget what I said about the scammers. I will only announce the winner in the video. It is not me if you get a message. So annoying. It's crazy to me. Like as soon as you post a giveaway, no matter if it's on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, wherever, those scammers come out of the woodwork. It honestly amazes me how quick they are on that. But yeah, so that is everything you guys. I love you. I hope you all had a great weekend and I will see you back here on Pink Wednesday to announce the giveaway winner and give you guys another video. All right. Bye guys.